First down and 10. Mon takes it back. He's going to have a nice game. Gets the first down. A pickup of about 13 yards. J.C. Horn. And he and Mukwamu, two of the top ones in the country. Mond over the middle into traffic. Weidemeyer with and coverage. Lane in motion. He looks the other way. Mond into the end zone. Touchdown, Aggies. There he is, Anaya Smith. Mr. Versatility for the Aggies. And they strike first. Just Jalen Watermeyer pushes up. He's going to set a pick. And then you'll see Smith just work underneath. Just a natural pick there by Jalen Watermeyer. He's working his route, and he works through Foster, cleans up Smith. He sneaks underneath, and it's an easy touchdown for Texas A&M. I love the play design. Once they got man-to-man -man coverage, perfect position, exactly what they wanted, and an easy throw for Kellen Mond. 2018, actually, last week against Arkansas, second down and 10. They're going to run it into the boundary. This is Spiller getting his giddy-up on. Spiller. Sheds a couple of tackles and out to midfield. Pickens finally brought him down. Guard Jared Hooker and then Carson Green pave a path. Jalen Weidermeyer getting out in front as well, getting on the safety. Third and short. Little play fake. Bond has a man wide open. Weidermeyer, room service Aggie style. Touchdown, Texas A&M. And this is what sets up the play action pass. You run, you run, and he's going to block and then just sneak out the backside. Nobody accounts for him. You see, he does such a good job selling it with the block, just sneaks out. Kellamon waits for him to come open, takes a shot as he delivers the pass, and a wide open man. That's an outstanding job selling the block by Watermeyer, sneaking out the backside. Drive here for South Carolina. A great point, Dusty. Hill back to pass. Little pump fake, double move, out and up, and he's going to be picked off back at the 45-yard line by Carper. Watch him. He never bites on the double move. He stays high. He stays deep. Reads the quarterback in outstanding position over the top and an easy interception from Keldrick Carper. The last thing South Carolina needed after that long, methodical 10-play, 70-yard drive by Texas A&M. And an outstanding where the sticks are. Big first down for South Carolina. Harris cuts it upfield. Got a first down. And then Moore still on his feet. And brought down to the 21-yard line by Miles Jones. Question, just an outside zone. And it opens up for Kevin Harris, who's got excellent. Hill under duress and sacked. Back at the 30-yard line by Hansford. He is really good timing up these blitzes. No one accounts for him in an easy gimme sack. Second. Hear what you're saying because your actions speak loud. And the players backed it up with action. And here's a little action by Spiller. Oh, he hit him with the sauce in the secondary. Spiller on the move and finally brought down from behind by John Dixon. A touchdown saving tackle. Just a big hole right here off the left side. Opens up, McCollum clears away, Green kicks out, and Spiller hits it downhill as he gets rolling in the open field. Say Spiller's got some wheels, Dusty. It'll make you miss, too. Mm. Put Jalen Foster in a spin cycle. Wow. They can get to the three. Mons on the play fake. Open. Touchdown. Weidemeyer. And that ties a school record to your little dance, Jalen Weidemeyer. They move him around so much. We'll see him in a wing here. He's just going to sneak out and go across. And nobody able to stay with him. He fakes as if he's going to block. And look at the protection all day for Kellen Mond to survey the field, allow Jalen Weidemeyer to come open. And it's an easy toss. I just love the sell there. McQuamu has got a man-to-man -man coverage. He stayed with him, thinking he's blocking. And just enough separation for Watermeyer to walk in the end zone for a second time this half. Mon back to pass. Hits his back out of the backfield. Spiller on the run. Broke through one tackle all the way inside the 40. A-chain still in the backfield. Spiller getting a breather after being shaken up. And A-chain... Can't be brought down. What an unremitting, unrelenting run by Devon Aching.
Little option to the wide side of the field. Mon with a great ball fake. Oh, he hit him with the okie doke sauce. Touchdown, Mon. I mean, it's extremely well done. Foster, right here, look at him. He's in a terrible spot. He gets too far outside, cuts it up, and an easy walk-in touchdown for Kellen Mon. He waited, he waited, he waited. Saw Foster commit to the pitch. And then a nice cut into the end zone by Kellen Mond. Man, he took Foster's ankles. I mean, he broke them. He fractured them. He busted them right there. As Foster falls to the turf, Mons runs into the end zone. Fourth touchdown of the night that he's accounted for. Three passing, one rushing. From Union, South Carolina, where he's from, was former Gamecock quarterback Brian Tannehill, who still checks in with him. And Hill going to be swarmed and swallowed at the 33-yard line. Real poor tone setter. Hill, little out pattern at the sideline. That's going to be ruled a catch by Josh Van. What he throw? Look at him climb the ladder, go up, high point the football, get the foot in bounds. Excellent job by Josh Van. Freshman receiver takes the snap and hands it off to. Kevin Harris. Harris ran through the arms of a couple of tacklers. Need this first down to try to get back in this ballgame. Smith in motion. Hill looking to get rid of it. Ball tipped up and intercepted by O'Neal. Still on his feet. Leon O'Neal runs it back near midfield. Jones gets the tip. And then it's Leon O'Neal with the second interception for this Aggies defense. It's been all Texas A&M here in Columbia. And first and 10 from the 48. Bond over the middle, lays it in there, caught. And another easy walk-in touchdown for Texas A&M. A-chain off the chain. Von A-chain, he's just going to run right up the field. And really, it's going to be Ernest Jones, who doesn't get quality depth. Two high safeties. Jones has got to continue to get depth. He does it perfectly placed over the linebacker's head. And a walk-in touchdown by Devon A-Chain. I also might add a perfectly clean pocket once again for Kellen Mond to survey the field, locate the open target, and pull the trigger. No advantage either way, but still close friends and good coaches. A-chain, great move to pick up the first down. Boy, you can tell he's got a lot. A-chain again. Touchdown, A&M. Touchdown, Texas A&M, A-chain. Look to make sure that he got across the front of the goal line. A-chain refusing to go down, that knee's down, but where's the football? Tough to tell from this angle. Nothing be able to overturn it with this looks like a better angle dusty i think he's in i think yeah, it's that... a good call by the official great pictures there by our fantastic camera crew boy what a great story that they did on college game awesome. day david shaw's brother and david shaw how he helped save his life and shy smith putting a little bit of life in this offense for the game fox ryan holinsky in at quarterback Parker White from 49 yards out. Ending the Aggie shutout with 5.55 to go in the fourth quarter. It's, you know, establishing the culture, but it's also bringing in really good players into this culture. Pass complete down the field to Max Wright. And Max Wright is going to slide into the end zone for a touchdown. Max Wright with the Texas A&M touchdown threat quarterback by our ESPN analyst on the move nice throw out in the flats and Max Wright makes one guy miss and strolls into the end zone on reauthoring